Today we launch the Ceasefire Victory in the Valley initiative to support the community and to create a bridge of hope in the efforts to support law enforcement. Law enforcement, where you at? Raise your hand. We're here to support you. The pastors are here to support you. Because we understand that with law enforcement agencies to combat these crimes in the community as a source of rehabilitation, also to our detention centers. So this whole initiative started because we need a better response inside our building. But we also understood that the response was not only just needed at, at 340 Campbell Avenue, the response was needed in the city of Ono to help engage with our community leaders, our mayor, our city manager, our council, the, uh, those in, in local government, because they can't do it alone. Amen. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. Because they can't do it alone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say it one more time until we make some noise out here. They can't do it alone. The chief can't do it alone. Captain Boswell can't do it alone. The sheriff's office can't do it alone. Chief Hoback can't do it alone. This is an effort from the entire city of Rono. We understand that certain parts of our city, they feel the immediate impact. Certain parts of our city feel the immediate impact. And unfortunately, that's the Northwest area, Southeast. I need to meet Northeast got hit a couple times. But there's certain areas that feel the impact in our community. But together, we can amplify our voices and ensure that the right message reaches our community. There, there is still hope. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody turn to somebody else and say, there is still hope. Yeah. So this initiative will provide resources and support to law enforcement agencies, including increased community and outreach programs. I want to see the churches get back to doing lock-ins. Because I remember when I was growing up, the churches did good lock-ins where it kept our kids safe. And if you need the funds and the resources, there's plenty of resources around us right now that will support our churches getting back to the foundation on where the church was built on. And this is not a political stunt for me because God has already been faithful to me. I'm in the position already. But we got to get outside our differences and we have to stand united. Together we stand. I'm waiting for somebody else to speak up. Together we stand. I'm going to say it one more time. Together we stand. Divided we fall. We have to be a unified effort because the, the people in our community, they don't care whose lives they are affected because they have intensified their increase and we got to intensify an increase. So again, we, we appreciate local law enforcement, state police, the bold blue line that has been working with our police department in their efforts to help reduce crime in our community. But my heart is in the right place. And so again, I appreciate you all at your respective places. Thank you all for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you.